हेलो हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टुडे प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट दी ऑयल वेल ड्रिलिंग प्रोग्राम सो इन दी ऑयल फील्ड्स द कंपनी साउथ दे आर कैरिंग आउट दी ड्रिलिंग प्रोग्राम इन सिस्टमैटिक मैनर सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब ब्रीफली वट आर द स्टेप्स इन वर्ल्ड हाउ द प्रोग्राम हेज बीन कैरीड आउट in the drilling technology so let's go to the presentation so well drilling program so what are the steps involved so what we are doing in the well drilling program how it has been carried out in the oil and gas well drilling technology so we are going to see how it has been carried out systematically so this drilling program uh so first you are going to see the you have to collect the data on your uh, drilling program operational informations and also general notes of the program then also you have to see the your pre spudding that is positioning and anchoring operations if it is carried out in the offshore and the drilling operational sequences how you are carrying out so surface hole intermediate hole then final hole then mundane engineering and supervision then general notes then top hole surface hole then in intermediate hole then final hole and the deviation programs then conductor casing liner casing and surface casing intermediate casing and final casing and liner and cementations so this is your brief description of your drilling program then we have to explain we have to collect for bop equipments testing data then geological prognosis then wireless logging and petrophysics mud logging well completion testing then well suspension and abandonment of oil well so this is a summary well information so well name is kaveri basin well number 32 the classification the country it's india or kuwait or in this case is india then ground level so surface latitude north then location longitude eastern side then surface field in northern side and coordinates in the eastern side of the field then seismic line cost center plan the total depth rig objective top hydrocarbons then target coordinates and tolerance scoring equipments or tolerance scoring requirements so this is a briefing of your well information and drilling program summary so here these are the programs casing program so the whole size depth casing id then casing weight casing grade coupling then top cement so i have already made a presentation on oil and gas well casing design so you can go to read more about the casings then mud programming so what are the mud types hole size then density then logging program well logging hole size then proposed log so what are the types of log you are using so gr spontaneous uh, density log whatever it is so logging program we have to make it then pouring program hole size then formation depths to be poured then possible drilling then what are the problems exists then after this approval so signing of the in charge or area of responsibility and signature and date so this is a brief description of your drilling program
then so now we are going to see the drilling program operational information so it, this program will help us to carry out the efficient operations and the drilling supervisors and other appropriate changes to further enhance the safety and efficiency and uh, in order to ensure the possibility of the evaluation data so once the well is complete the drilling supervisor uh, has to meet the following requirements so what are the requirements the drilling supervisor has to meet so you have to keep the daily diary has to be kept and the well record informal notes on drilling the well including the ideas and recommendations for improving the operations on the well and other recommendations for improved bit bha bottom hole sum selection and particular drilling practice etc and the diary must record the reasoning of the decision made in the rotor drilling rig which may affect the drilling operations and the decision such as bit to run or why you have to wipe the trip etc all must be justified on the basis of engineering analysis then at the end of the each of each drilling supervisor will write a short note informal report for your care office or uh, whatever office uh, houston texas or karaikal office which can be used on the basis of the final well report and this will give a specific details on the problem encountered so how it will be solved and the recommendations will be made for future wells so this daily number 4 operations to be carried out safely and according, according to the field practice in compliance in compliance with the company regulations on drilling and technical manuals unless it has been graded from the other this gas drilling manager or us drilling manager and the operation should be executed to minimize the adverse impact on the environment then drill string components are inspected to ap rp 7g before the running the hole and ensure that all the drill collars have stress relief grooves and are bored back and the steel dcs are to be spiral so this is the point number 5 so number 6 the program has been written with reference to the following wells are offset information so well name surface distance then approximate direction number 7 depths given in this program are in meters brt or rt elevation is assumed to be the x meter above the msl number point number 8 shallow gas is not anticipated and to be present based on the your seismic survey data and offset wells then point number 9 is your minimum stocks to be kept on site drilling on site during the drilling under the empty barrels find the dc lcm and 1000 sx cements and number 10 leak of test will be performed after the drilling out all the casings where a bvp is in use by number 11 measure the mud density with both pressurized and atmospheric balances and record this at 15 minutes 15 minutes intervals while drilling for mud in the pits and at the and at the flow lines for all sections below the surface casing and also use the pressurized balance measurement for maintaining the correct mud density 
and the floats point number 12 floats should have a small hole in them to allow the drill pipe fill up while RIH, RIH and to allow the direct readout of drill pipe pressure if we get a quick if we get a kick and the float we will get will be effective against such a heavy back flow and will enhance the safety while tripping so amendment to this drilling program will be sent to the drilling office for every time to time and if any changes the well design then it should be approved by the duty drilling manager for major changes the original signature may be signed so point number 14 for the drilling engineering background to do the well plan so have to refer the excel programs technical justification documents and other programs which we will discuss in the next future lectures and pre-spread positioning and anchor operations drilling operation sequence surface sole then potential problems then well bore stability general notes on the whole section then drilling practices kick tolerances at true depth or total uh, sorry at total depth for expected pore pressure and fracture and gradients and fracture gradient and uh, any special notes for requirements and recommended bits and bhs what are the types of bits uh, rotary roller cone bits or poly diamond pdc bits etc and the sequential operational excel then intermediate hole potential problem then well bore stability and you have to make the general notes on the whole section so you have to do the drip uh, drilling practices kick tolerance at uh, total depth and uh, for expected pore pressure, pore pressure and fracture gradient and any special notes on requirements then next one so general notes on the whole section is applicable so drilling process kick tolerance at the td for expected pore pressure and fracture gradient and any special notes for requirements and recommended bits and bhs bottom hole assembly etc then mud engineering and supervision so you have to make the general notes the mud engineering so what are the reporting requirements on daily and post well and monitoring cavings levels sampling mud sampling requirements time sample size how it is preserved etc then surface hole then mud gradients types required properties ph test requirements and any other special requirements such as shell extrusion test and then well bore record well bore stability requirements and other mud formation requirements and solid control requirements then intermediate hole so mud gradient types required properties ph test requirements and any special requirements etc also should be done well bore stability requirements then final hole again mud gradients types record properties ph test requirements and mud formation requirements solid control requirements that is final hole Then deviation, vertical or deviated well, kick of depth, build and drop, turn rates with inclinations, azimuth and depth to define the complete well path, target depth, coordinates and boundaries, then horizontal displacement, azimuth of target, etc. Then target of constraints showing the actual target area that will be acceptable and uh, total well depth measured depth versus two vertical depth and uh, for horizontal well more information will be required such as final hole selection then uh, azimuth just steering will be utilized then survey survey requirements used also used and types of tool 
for each stages distance between surveys computing methods etc and magnetic variations for this area and for a well more than 25 degree maximum planned inclination or with i anticipated dls dog leg severities so i had to carry out the drag drag and torque calculations for gap dimensions of well path and casing wear predictions etc then hole and bit sizes section depths proposed bits and bhs bottom row assemblies together with recommended drilling parameters and performance expectation so that is the deviation program then conduct casings and liners so you had notes on any potential eye casing wear problems any requirements and conductor that is size weight grade connections minimum setting depth final blow count and final blow count and type of ms if drilled and cemented then size weight grade types connections setting depth central laser requirements single or multi gel cementing then additional cementing needed and also the any potential problem running the casing and how this can be managed then surface casing so size weight grade types connections setting depths centralizer requirements then multi stage then intermediate casing size weight grade connections setting depths centralizer requirements etc then final casing or liners again size weight grade types connections setting depths centralizer requirements and multi stages etc then uh, that is single or double so liners and the uh, types of liner anchor tie back packer to be required and whether to be rotated or reciprocated during the displacement etc then cementations next is your cementation so anticipated bhst bhct profile for the well reporting requirements so cementing of oil well i explained in detail in one of my presentation in our channel so you can go through it then surface casing the cement topics type of cementation slurry types gradients special requirements plugs to be utilized mix water types additives then mix methods for each slurry then anticipated slurry densities and yields compatibility between mud and clay and cement estimated cement volume etc and uh, special advice on obtaining the maximum mud displacement including the required mud properties before cementing spacers flushes cavenger slurries and any other reciprocation or rotation during the displacement and 24 hour compressive strength and minimum pumpable time so this is regarding the surface casing then intermediate casing cement tops types of cementation slurry types gradients and special requirements and other plugs has to be used mix water types additives mix methods for each slurry anticipated slurry densities and yields then compatible between mud spaces and cement uh, compatibility between mud spaces and cement estimated cement volume and specific advice for obtaining the maximum mud displacement during the required mud properties before cementing and then spaces flushes cavenger slurries etc then final casing or liner so cement tops types of cementation slurry types special requirements plugs to be used then mixer what types of additives mix methods for each slurry etc then specific advice on obtaining the maximum mud displacement including the required mud properties before cementing etc then cement plugs the purpose of our cement plugs cement tops type of cementation slurry types gradient special requirement mix water types additives etc what are the mixing methods anticipated slurry densities and yield 
and compatibility between mud spaces and cement estimated cement volume etc and 24 hour compressive strength then minimum pumpable time then vop equipment and testing so diverter vop configuration for each sole section vop test requirements then kick tolerance calculation assumptions which are made acceptable levels of influx after kick tolerance is calculated then leak of test or limit test to be used then minimum value of emg and action to be taken if not attained and uh, next is geological prognosis what are the concern uh, informations on geological prognosis so here you have to expect the lithology sequence with names description of formations formations on information on anticipated hole problems fractured washouts etc then anticipated pore pressure fracture gradients with the depth etc and geological characteristics of expected formations permeability fluid type hydrocarbon depth depths gas zones etc so next is your wireline logging petrophysics so record logs then record logs that is from drilling record department they will give you then sidewall sampling formation sampling rft mdt pouring requirements cement logs penetration logs then reporting requirements and daily and post well drilling then mud logging sampling and preservation methods are required for cutting scaving mud produced fluids metal etc and uh, recording requirements and formats has to be noted on then types of unit example whether it is option or offshore or onshore so monitoring services required for each types of each type of alarms then calculations monitor current kick tolerances etc d exponents calculation then well completion testing so normally detailed completion testing program will be sent out to the closer to the time and general notes should be made and to allow the some presentation to take place general list type of downhole completions testing tools has to be run with the completion tubings such as pocket mandrels safety walls packets etc and their reporting requirements also tubing sizes and surface weighted configuration also should be prepared in the drilling program then well suspension and abandonment so anticipated well configuration on rig departure must be there must be some diagram zonal isolation the casing will be cut and pulled out cement plugs permanent bridge plugs steps other suspension caps will be required so these are the things then offset bid records offset whole sections logistics and materials anticipated well lithology so this is your cameron type bops which is utilized in the island gas well drilling the drilling program this is a typical bop so well testing So sensor is loaded into the well. So again, well is shut in and production drops so in, as the pressure rises. And then next is well logging. Well logging. Uh, so it's your office where we'll make the all the well logging data sheets log sheets 
and wireland logging tools centralizers calipers etc cementing cementing is one of the most critical steps in the drilling and completion of oil and gas wells and uh, so this is your mud pumps different types then this is your mud logging unit so you can see the system of mud logging oil well so you can see the mud pumps then on the rotary table so everything is going and the mud pits also shown here so this is a brief schematic of your mud logging unit then common types of drill bits utilized so blade drag bit over cut bit the diamond bits then conical drag bit then core bits so thank you so we have completed our presentation <clears throat> so today we made a brief presentation on uh, oil well drilling program so we described what are the sequence of operations and uh, we'll see more detail in our next presentation thank you subscribe my channel